Hey all my Crimsonites and welcome to the Crimson Cure channel where we embrace our femininity, increase our womanly value, and celebrate our brothers. So join me on our feminine journey to learn, heal, and grow. Hey there my Crimsonites and welcome to the Crimson Cure channel. I'm your host femininity coach and author the Crimson Cure and this is my perspective. So I got two videos to show you one back to back. First one is a shout out to Miss Erica Lachey. Um, it's going to be a video of her discussing basically black women's appearance value. And then I'm going to share another video, which is supposedly a black woman's response to, to what she said. So, and I just want to demonstrate how black women keep up with this trash culture. Y'all do not want to be, y'all don't want to be known for nothing better than what you're known for. And it's depressing to me and it's, and it's out of control to me. So without further ado, I'm going to run each one once and then we're going to come back and talk about it. So here we go. Here we go. And poses that said no house shoes, no pajamas, no bonnets, right? And social media was so up in arms that they tried to destroy this woman's business by leaving her bad reviews, saying that the sign was anti-black. I just want to know why everything negative and uncouth has to be labeled black culture. I also want to know why advocating for us to go in public looking like we care about ourselves and how we look is deemed as respectability politics. We should not be condoning and advocating for clear signs of depression because the only times I've ever been raggedy in public is when something was off with me mentally. Rolling out of bed in the morning and going in public with a bonnet and pajamas on and house shoes is unacceptable, uncouth behavior, no matter what race of people does it. And going out in public looking well put together like I care about myself doesn't mean that I'm trying to be like white people or I'm trying to get white people to respect me. Maybe it's because I respect the office had a sign posted. Now I'm going to stop sharing that and I'm going to give you another clip where um, a black woman had a response to that. Y'all already know. Okay. We should not be condoning and advocating for clear signs of depression. If you wear bonnets in public, child, this is the video for you. Last year, I started a business called Free Yourself, Be Yourself, because you can't really be yourself if you haven't freed yourself. I sell bonnets, and one of the things I was really, really, really intentional about was the design. So I'm going to go ahead and show y'all some of my individuality bonnets. Um, and honestly, the reason that I designed these bonnets this way is because of these kind of conversations that are being had about, well, you shouldn't wear bonnets in public. And if you do, you're ghetto and you're classless and you're not presentable. And honestly, this was just a big F you back to the people that constantly have something to say about people who wear their bonnets in public. You're not supposed to wear your bonnet on public. Your bonnet is for when you go to school. Now, excuse me, I'm going to stop sharing because I wasn't so much interested in playing the brother's response to it as much as I was playing, wanted to play and let you guys hear the lady's response to it. She managed somehow to make the bonnets even more ghetto by putting the middle fingers up there. The bonnets are trashy in public. Where the bonnet, where it's supposed to be worn? In the house, you're getting ready to go to sleep. You want to preserve your hairstyle. You know, you don't got braids or whatever. And you ain't trying to sleep on them because it make them all freezy and crazy. I get it. We wrap our hair at night. I do the same thing. I get my hair done or do my own hair, whatever the case may be. You know, you just get it, get fresh. You know, your braids and your twists, they supposed to last more than a couple of days or whatever. So I put, I don't necessarily got a bonnet per se, but I got my little scarf and stuff like that. You know, you put your scarf on your head and then you go to bed. Okay. Ain't nothing wrong with that. There's nothing wrong with that. 
If you want your hair covered outside, you can wear an African wrap. You can just wrap your hair up, Ricky. There are several ways to wrap your hair in the daytime where you can go outside and it looks put together. It looks pretty. It looks feminine. It looks well presentable and, and, and all of that good stuff. And your hair is covered if you didn't want it out for whatever reason. And it, duh, plenty of ways to wrap your hair with a nice little turban or whatever. You know what I mean? You could go, it's all over YouTube. You can find all kinds of, of um, little tutorial videos that'll show you, that'll show black women how to wrap their hair anywhere from something simple or to something ornate if you wanted something more, you know what I'm saying? Um, if you wanted something a little bit more extravagant or something like that, then you can do that. You wanted something a little bit more flashy, a little more, more dressy, then you can do that. Plenty of different ways to wrap your hair with different scarves of different material, whatever. A bonnet should not be on the list for headwear that you wear outside and then you couple it with pajamas house shoes dirty t-shirts and crusty faces like it is a mental is that that's mental health right there y'all depressed that's when you don't care about how you look because you lose all your motivation and stuff like that you don't really care how nobody perceive you because you are in a mental health crisis. You're in a mental health crisis. Is that what it is? Go ahead and say it if you're having trouble. It ain't no shame in having trouble. It's just shame in not doing nothing about it. And then this one comes up with bonnets with that's even more crass. And then you try to ruin black business. See, this is why I don't trust the sisterhood and the gynocracy. I mean, you try to ruin a black woman's dental business. That woman has gone to school. That woman has spent money. That woman, it, it, depending on how long she didn't have that practice, she probably still paying back school loans. She done went to school forever to become a dentist and to have a private practice. Not long that take. And then she don't want her people. She's probably in your neighborhood to fix your raggedy mouth. Okay? To help you have a better smile. And all that she want is that her people, her ladies, her sisters, black women, to come into her dental place like you got some type of self-respect. And, 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 you wanted to say it was anti-black. The question is, why are negative things like this black to y'all? Why is that part of the culture? Why is that an acceptable part of the culture that you would promote and that you would get mad at other people for not promoting? Like, why? Why are all of the negative, uncouth, unattractive, you know, and just, uh type things why is it all of that something that black women want to uphold going outside looking like you don't care about your appearance and when other black people say yeah let's care about how we come outside and show ourselves to the world have some self-respect. Y'all quick to think, oh, yeah, you trying to prove. No, I'm not trying to prove nothing to nobody, but I respect me. I don't want to go outside looking like who done it and what for. How about that? But you uphold the trashiness of so-called black culture, and then you don't want nobody to call it trash. It is trash. It's trash as long as you upholding trash in it. Clean it up, sweep it up, and take the trash out, and then black culture can be something that we can all be proud of and be part uh, proud to be a part of. We not we not mad at being black. We just mad at the things that get associated with being black and the things that y'all are okay that's associated with being black. It's just maddening. Anyway, jump down in the comment section. Let me know what you think. Like, share, subscribe to the channel if you have not. 
Once again, I'm your host, The Crimson Cure, and this was my perspective. Bye-bye, Crimsonite.